Hi folks, I'm Daniel Myers, Developer Relations here at Snowflake. On today's episode of Powered By, I'm talking with Adam Woods, the CTO of Choosel, a digital advertising platform that leverages a true 360 degree view of consumer data to deliver a unified advertising campaign across display, video, mobile, audio, TV, and really a whole uh, slew of other mediums, all built on and powered by Snowflake. Today, I want to learn a little bit about you, your background, kind of the history of Choosel, and you know, and tell me a little bit more about yourself. Yeah, good, and uh, thank you, Daniel. Yeah, we. Um, so I've been uh, the early part of my career. Um, really, I started focusing on building enterprise-grade software for large insurance carriers about ten years ago. I really found a passion inside of advertising. Um, and really, it was around the type of data that we could use to really, you know, help power um, better outcomes for, um, you know, publishers, advertisers, and ultimately the, uh, the the people that consume all of these services. Um, we, as I got into that, um, you know, initially it was really around scalable systems that, um, you know, could cover entire populations um, globally uh, inside of a large holding company. Um, you know, over the years, my philosophy and kind of the industry has really changed and we have started to prioritize the ethical use of data and privacy friendly approaches. And so, you know, definitely had a lot of, um, you know, kind of seen interesting things in terms of the way that, um, you know, our ability to take data, consume it, and then have the power to be able to tag it with the things that we need to really, um, to really earn the trust along that has evolved. Um, you know, personally, I've used um, kind of all kinds of data systems, uh, you know, early on SQL warehouses that were on-prem, uh, NoSQL, graph databases, search, and, you know, really have found kind of a love for, um, for the cloud data warehouse concept and, you know, some of the things that we're able to do with it. Um, I joined Choosel about nine months ago and really, you know, came in with a focus on uh, on building our next generation platform and taking some of our product features to uh, to the next level. That's exciting. So, you know, what stage? It sounds like Choosel is is um, you know growing rapidly. You know, what stage is, is the company at today? And um, you know, what what's kind of the funding status today? Yeah, yeah. So we actually uh, we we just closed the Series C, so we're extremely excited about that. Um, and using that uh, as a way to start really supercharging our growth even more than the fantastic growth that we have. Um, you know, today we're right at about 70 people um, and growing all the time, uh, you know, especially focused on developers, uh, data engineers, and, and data scientists. That's exciting. So in your role, you know, in the nine months that you've been at Choosel, what is, you know, the, the key goal for you and your team. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, really, so Choosel e exists as a platform um, to help serve the mid-market. Uh, so what we saw was that there was a lot of really great enterprise grade technology out there, um, but that it was, in a, it, it was unaccessible into our market segment because, um, you know, there were, there were high barriers to entry in terms of contractual uh, duration and, and the cost of, of the monthly minimums. So, you know, really what we've always been working on is how do we, how do we simplify and give better access? And so specifically when I came in, it was really around the notion of doubling down on data performance and performance-based outcomes for the advertisers that are working with us. So we represent, um, about 600, a little bit more than 600 agencies and advertisers that together combine uh, and manage campaigns across 5,000 different end brands that are using our platform and our service. And so really the notion is how do we use data to better inform what they're doing, give them better insight into the performance of their campaigns, and then give them predictive analytics that really help them achieve better outcomes based on the different tactics that are available to them to use through the platform. 
That's a tall order. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Very so, modest. <laughs> so uh, can we see a demo of it today? Yeah, absolutely. All right. So what you're seeing here is the the new version of our UI that we've been working on and, and are getting very close to releasing uh, over the next quarter. So as we were building this new UI, one of the things that was really apparent to us was that we needed an, an upgraded capability to power our campaign reporting. And that's really where we turned to Snowflake and um, brought that into our warehousing uh, technology stack. So what you can see is, as I go into the reporting, this is at parity with what we would have historically had inside of our uh, inside of our legacy approach, um, where you can see that we've got key metrics, and then we've got the ability to do some comparisons of, of high level aggregations. Where we've really been focused on where we found the power of Snowflake that gives us an advantage, gives us a boost, is when we start looking at um, the areas where we can go much, much deeper. So um, what you're seeing here is essentially the same thing, but now we've pulled in a lot of more advanced concepts. So things like looking at um, you know, cost per completion or click-through rate, um, and then segmenting that by time of day so that we can understand if there's a better day parting strategy that, that one of our advertisers should be adopting. Um, and then you can also see that, you know, we're able to look now more deeply. So we're seeing the sites that the placements are being put, are being put on. Um, and then we can also look at things like device type and we can take that down to a very deep level of insight. Um, and then the kind of historically, we would have been able to bring these metrics through to a customer, but it was in a laggy experience where you know you had to go through an offline batch um, and then work with it in a way that wasn't interactive. And you know now you can see that because this is all tied into the warehouse, I've got the ability to interact with the data, sort it any way that I want. I can do filters, um, just and it gives us an ability to be expressive with data in a way that we never could before. Um, and then again, in terms of like how we are able to go deeper, you know, things like looking at zip codes, right? You know, there's, I think 30,000 plus zip codes in the United States, that level of aggregation inside of our legacy system would have just been unapproachable. Like this is, this is a visualization that we would never have been able to do. Um, you know, we might've been able to grab like top 10 zip codes, but as you can see here, this literally is looking at this campaign and it's got every single zip code that it's been serving to, which this one happens to be a national campaign. So um, it's serving to a lot of zip codes. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and then really in terms of kind of the other, the other big, the big boulder that we're looking at or the big kind of functional area is how do we make data um, connected better for an advertiser. Um, and so what you can see is that we have now also been able to take our traditional data, which is media that we're buying through the Chuzo platform, and then for an advertiser, give them the ability to overlay that with data that's been uh, synchronized with uh, media that they're buying on, on other platforms. So if you think about um, you know, a balanced marketing portfolio, you would be doing search, you would be doing social, you would be doing open web display, and you might be doing connected TV along with other tactics. What we've been able to do through our partnerships with Snowflake and with Fivetran is really be able to use connectors to aggregate all of that data into our Snowflake warehouse and then give a customer specific view of it where they're able to see all of their campaigns running across all of the different uh, media sources that they're buying. And we were able to do this in a very simple and scalable way where we can offer this to all of our advertisers rather than having to do customized or custom work to, uh, to get here. That's exciting. So as you've been building this, um, you know, what has been, you know, some of the, uh, you know, it, so you mentioned a few of the areas that this is this has been improved from your legacy system. 
um, you know, what are some, some, some other areas where like Snowflake has really been able to be a key differentiator between, you know, your, you know, this newer system and, and, and what you've built in the past? Yeah, I would say um, the, the biggest differentiator is really around our ability to um, experiment without a lot of fear, right? Like we can always start from the assumption of let's go build the absolute best thing that we can for our customers. Let's get the most detailed data. Let's get the most advanced reporting. Let's give the best understanding that we can give. And then, and then we can look at like, once we've done that, we can experiment into that with no fear of breaking production or having to make big, you know, upfront capital investments, right? We can just do R and D and try to find the best products that we can bring. And then we can treat it as a cost optimization problem and just say, okay, how do I make this at a price point that, that um, you know, we can bring to market effectively? So it's a very different conversation than what we would have had before, which is, you know, should we add this piece of data? Is that too much? Are we going to break something, right? Those conversations have entirely fallen off, right? We know that we, know that we have the scale to be able to solve any problem that we want. And so then it's just how do we be the most expressive version of ourselves to really bring the best to the market and then optimize over time. And so as you move forward, right, uh, on this platform, um, you know, what is, uh, you know, kind of on the roadmap for Chusel? You know, what, what's, what's a challenge that you're targeting today um, that uh, will bring further improvement for your customers? Yeah, so the immediate roadmap is really around rolling out the scaled version uh, of this um, and, and bringing up our adoption of, of the more advanced metrics. I think further down, um, you know, what we're really looking at is bringing in more machine learning so that we're able to do a better job of predicting outcomes based on what we're seeing in the usage of the platform. Um, and then using that to make recommendations of uh, you know, enhanced tactics that are going to get a more effective outcome for that, uh, for that customer. And, you know, really part of that is also kind of shedding some of the leading indicators that we use inside of our industry, right? So if you think about something like a click-through rate, right, like that only talks about the engagement of a person to, the, to that advertisement and the very first interaction that they have. What we're really thinking about and really focused on is how do we how do we go deeper, right? What did that person ultimately do? What was the effectiveness of the media mix? Are we driving the right type of buyers to our advertisers, and how are they converting? Um, you know, so we can really look at like what's their lifetime value, what's their initial order value, um, you know, and really thinking about it in terms of what did those advertising uh, tactics and investment that that brand made really truly drive in the end to their bottom line? Um, you know, and that's where being able to have this ability to stitch together data, bring things together that we might have found hard to bring together before, do it in you know a reliable, predictable, compliant way, um, and then really give people the ability to optimize towards their outcome rather than optimize towards, you know, things like media spend or something along those lines. That makes a lot of sense. And so, you know, one of the common questions that I get from folks is, you know, how do they, how should they go about uh, evaluating and deciding um, on, uh, you know, uh, on a data cloud, right? So something like Snowflake's data cloud, how, how did Chuzel do it? How did you, uh, you know, go about your evaluation process um, and ultimately land on, on Snowflake? So I actually ran across Snowflake um, in 2017. So I've been using it for quite a while now. When, when I first came across it, we, we were running a process that was sitting on a, a very large Oracle data warehouse and we had scaled out of that on-prem infrastructure. We found that we could do the process inside of Redshift, but that as we were wrapping more and more parallelism around it, it, it was just, it wasn't keeping up and it was getting more and more complicated. 
And so when, when I first saw Snowflake and first started using it, it, it really was, um, you know, kind of there, there was less understanding in the market. Um, and it was a little bit more of a risk at that time. Um, what I ended up doing was basically taking that problem and then putting it on Snowflake and exercising the, the kind of limits of how parallel I could make that problem run. Um, and I exercised that kind of both on the scale up and the scale out aspects. So in terms of scale up, it was, okay, run the problem on a medium, run it on a large, run it on an extra large. And, and when I saw the linear reduction of time, um, you know, that was when I really kind of knew that I'd found something that was different than anything I'd ever seen before, frankly. Um, and that gave me a lot of confidence. And then the ability to run multiple warehouses at the same time dealing with different problems on a single set of data, that really gave me the comfort to say, you know, I know that I can build something where, you know, a UI facing experience is never going to be impacted or degraded by, you know, a batch report or, you know, an experiment I'm running. So, you know, that was really where um, kind of early on, I found that this was, you know, this was something that was going to be really good. Um, and I've been, you know, we brought it in at that company, was super happy with it, did a lot to transform. When I came into Chusel, um, you know, literally on kind of, you know, call it my first day, um, I went to one of our media providers that, that I knew was running data shares in Snowflake and said, you know, I'd like all of our impression data um, that, that we have for the entire reporting window, and I'd like to get it through a data share. Um, and so, you know, literally, I, we put in the formal request with them at five one day, and I had every impression we had bought for, a, you know, that entire window uh, delivered into my Snowflake account by 11 o'clock the next morning, right? And as a byproduct of the way the, the data is stored and they had the cost on their side, you know, I had literally done that for zero dollars. So I went to my CEO and I said, okay, here, let me show you some reports off of all of our data at an event level. And, you know, was able to do the first evaluation for literally, you know, single digit dollars on my credit card and showed him value on day two. Um, and then, you know, from there it was, okay, now let's formalize the, the reasons why we're doing this and really show, you know, what are we going to be able to do with scalability um, and then made the decision. But, you know, the, that proof of concept was, was, you know, literally days because of the technology. That's awesome to hear. That's awesome. So, you know, for the viewers today, if they want to learn more about you uh, and about Chuzel, where should they go? Yeah, um, you know, certainly anybody that would like to connect on LinkedIn and reach out to me directly, um, you know, ha happy to connect and, and share my experiences. Um, you know, anybody that wants to learn about Chuzel can go to chuzel.com. Um, and, I, you know, anybody's free to contact me at adam at chuzel.com as well. That's awesome. And uh, so for everybody else, um, you know, if you want to learn how you can build your application and your business on Snowflake, check out developers.snowflake.com and the Powered By program at Snowflake. Thanks and see you next time.